So, we've had a number of developments. You found out one of your family members is staying at a location an hour and 38 minutes away from here. Yeah, the wonders of Facebook. So I posted that we were here. I posted pictures that we were here and my aunt in England saw them and she said, oh my God, her son, my cousin, Mike, is just like an hour and a half away from here with his wife and kids. I haven't seen him in three years. And they're they're living currently in they're currently in England. he's got a job for Nike in Amsterdam. So they've been in oh, Amsterdam. Oh okay, Amsterdam, years. Netherlands. Yeah. So I haven't seen Mike. Uh, last time I saw him was in Italy in twenty fifteen. So yeah. And we're trying to fit this in with other activities where we were planning to do in Chamonix. Yep. Which were, the, the one activity we did today was we hiked the Bre Brevin. Le Brevin, yeah. It took us five hours from the top of the Brevin all the way back to Chamonix, yep. walking. So we took the gondola up. Yeah, two was, stages. Yeah, and then... Uh, the security guards took pity on you because you couldn't <laughs> yep, find ticket. your ticket to the top. But yep. having seen me wand in, they knew you probably just lost it. Anyway, you were fumbling around there for two minutes. And holding meanwhile, they were up. holding up the gondola for you. That meant they were holding up people on the top for you. So they just let you in. Let me in. And then we started walking down. And we stopped at the first after the first hour and a half and we well, we had a drink so we, we hiked down like after an hour and a half and we stopped at the cafe i ordered uh i ordered a a huge bottle of fisher here long i feel raindrops by the way yeah it, it is raining good that's good should because we get under maybe the umbrella it, no not right now we're good <laughs> okay this put the menu over here. your put the menu over your head. That all. <laughs> oh, there's a bee around here. He seems yeah, I know. Like, he likes the beer. He likes our beer. And then, uh, then it took us another four hours. No, five hours. Total. Walking from the top to Chamonix, and we took a 20-minute break at the cafe where we ordered beers. Maybe the beers weren't a good idea. I don't think so. And then you, you had some trouble with your knee halfway down. I had some discomfort in my knee. Yeah. It flared up again. But then uh, we stopped at a couple of uh, streams. We stopped to, to drink water on at, at intersections of the stream in the past. That was nice. Nice water. Yeah. It was uh, very fresh water yes. coming off the, uh, the, the, the mountain, off of snow, snow reservoirs yeah. and snow glaciers. So I don't think I want to hike for five hours tomorrow. That's not the purpose of the Aiguille uh, de Midi. I know. You just take you just, just take the gondolas in. those places. But there's lots of gondolas around the intersection of Switzerland, Italy, and France. Yeah. That's it. So we'll do that tomorrow. So we're going to play it by ear. This thing with meeting up with uh, cousin Mike from the Amsterdam may or might not happen. Who the hell knows? Uh, we and, might, have, might meet him for dinner, but you know, he's got two little yeah, kids. That's the so. only thing we could do, squeeze him in yeah. for dinner. And that means we, not they, are adding an hour and 38 minute drive each way to meet them. And then the next morning we're driving again. Yes, that reminds me. And then we also have the challenge of the room has no, in fact, the room has no air conditioning. And uh, we're, we're, I mean, we get some cool air by opening the window in the ceiling. And that's it. When we left the room, it was 26 degrees Celsius, which is pretty warm. Yeah, at 4 o'clock. Pretty toasty. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's well, it for now. Yeah.